Hey everyone, welcome back to Butterfly Ivy the Nature Witch. Today we're going to be talking about teas and teas for magical uses. I'm here with my friend Hal who's going to be taste testing the tea and adding some insights and anything he knows about tea because he's recently become interested in learning to read tea leaves. I drink a lot of tea on my own time anyway and I might as well put the leaves to use, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm going to give you an example of one of the teas that I make a lot. Um, there's a million different tea recipes out there. Um, just look at the ingredients, what you're wanting to use them for, and then um, let that be your guide for selecting the herbs. So with this, we start out with organic peppermint. Now peppermint for magical purposes is for purification, um, love, um, healing, and rest. Um, folklore um, for Back in the day, they believed that it could relieve stomach aches as well as uh, digestive issues and headaches. I actually use peppermint tea when I have uh, stomach trouble, when I when I have like an upset stomach or like my, my lower tract is not feeling so great, I, I drink peppermint tea. I just be sure that um, if you make it for medicinal uses, that you're only doing it for um, things that pop up every once in a while and not a condition. Not a chronic illness. Because then you will have, you need to see a doctor. Next herb is basil, and basil, in terms of magical properties, is happiness, love, peace, um, money, luck, um, and also eases the mind. Um, folklore says that it can also help treat, uh, act as an anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. um, antibacterial, as well as um, helps uh, get rid of the, the blues, so to speak, if you're feeling <laughs> down. Like olives, olives actually have uh, an antidepressant property as well. But again, go see a psychiatrist if it's chronic depression and not just the exactly. occasional feeling down in the dumps. Exactly. Next is green tea. And green tea, um, in terms of magic, it works a lot like the other ingredients we talked about, such as clove and cinnamon and all that. In fact, in the terms that it powers up the other herbs. Mm -hmm. But um, I can actually talk about this because it's been scientifically proven and you can find it on Google. But studies have shown that green tea helps speed up your metabolism. Yeah, yes. And it's full of antioxidants as well. So what we're gonna do for the tea, um, I do equal parts for this tea, um, basically one package of each. Um, different teas require different things. For example, you wouldn't wanna use equal parts if you were incorporating um, like nutmeg because no. then it would be way too <laughs> much. <laughs> Might wanna cut it down to a third. <laughs> depending on uh, how much you like nutmeg. <laughs> it's just like cinnamon. Put oh. too much cinnamon in it. Yep. I wonder why cinnamon's used to like boost energy because it's so powerful. <laughs> yeah, the only thing more powerful is coffee. Oh, yeah. And that's a little too powerful for me. I don't like coffee. No kidding. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, I'm a tea person. <laughs> I don't even really like chocolate either. Really? I, pre I prefer vanilla. Do you not like tannins? Because coffee and chocolate have a lot of tannins in them. I tend not to like tannins. That's why I like mm. to put ice in my wine. There you go. Because it reduces the tannins. Well, that, there you go. We learned something today. <laughs> right. So just put it in a container, shake it up really well, mix it. And then once you have it good and mixed, you want to um, empower it with your intention of whatever you're making the tea for. I make this tea for the digestive system for me. Um, like I said, you need to consult a doctor if it's a chronic condition. But basically this is every once in a while when I have stomach upsets or something like that, I'll drink it. Um, also, I need to start drinking a cup every morning because I'm trying to lose weight and it'll definitely help with that. Alright, so now we just put our intention into it and you do that by holding it in your hands and envisioning light coming out of your hands and filling the, filling the bag until the bag is glowing. All right, so that's done, got tea made. May I smell it? Yeah. I like smelling teas because that also kind of gives hint to like what it, what it tastes like. Ooh, that's um, Earthy is such like a tea word to say, but it smells very like 
very like like obviously plant but like some teas have like a more of a like a floral pro uh, profile and more of like a sweet profile this very much is like this very much you can really tell like it's just it's like obviously mostly leaves but it's, it's a nice like and the peppermint is kind of like soft it's kind of like um the undernote of the of the smell profile prior to recording this video i made a cup of this tea from some blend i had left and we're gonna have Hal try it now like he said with the smell it's very earthy very bitter so in order to make it not so bitter sweeten it with honey it's very important or it'll be bitter but honestly if you're trying a new tea or if you get a new tea from anywhere i would recommend tr just trying like a sip of it by itself first and then like adding your sugar or your tea or your cream because that way you can get like a better idea of how the the tea tastes on its own um also i want to add in terms of magical uses for tea um like i said uh whatever you're going for pick out your herbs accordingly because a lot of witches, what they do is prior to a ritual, they will drink a tea that they've created specifically for the purposes of that ritual to get them in the right mindset. Mm -hmm. All right. Just spill it so I'll let you. It's a nice, it's a nice like amber color. I really like that about the tea. And you can tell that there's green tea in it because it does have like a green tinge. Yeah, yeah it smells, um, no, it <laughs> This is gonna be really weird to say, but now it smells like green beans. <laughs> like like farm fresh green beans. I, th I think your smell might be off. Because <laughs> you smelled this and you didn't sniff um, coffee grounds. Oh, fun fact, if you are smelling a lot of things, like I used to work in working with candles, um, after a while your nose stops working and mm -hmm. stops being sensitive to certain smells so if you smell coffee grounds in between it resets your nasal palate oh it's like a palate cleanser for your nose how uh -huh. is that yeah right now i think i'm getting the basil from the tea yeah most likely because yeah the peppermint i don't get that as much it's kind of like it's gone from like the the smell profile i can't taste it as much but I'm, i think i'm primarily getting like the basil and the green tea because I could definitely taste that. It's very soothing. It's I no wonder it's a digestive tea. It it goes down very smooth and it's very it's very delightful. It's a nice cup of tea, honestly. And um, just so you know, digestive. It's not like your digestive system. It's spelled out like D. It, it ends with an F. Um, it's French digestif. Mm -hmm. um, basically, the French they used to drink teas and stuff before before and after meals because they believed that the ingredients in the tea would help them to digest more efficiently and smoothly. And when I when I swish it around in my mouth, I get the honey, and the honey is like a it's a nice like little top note of the. Of yeah, the, you don't want to taste tea. that tea without the honey. No, I'm sure. Yeah, without the honey, I think that's what's canceling out the rest of the the rest of the flavors, and, and that's probably good because again, it could be you know pretty bitter. Um, but yeah, I think the honey kind of like, it kind of brought everything up. It kind of lightened up the, the tea. Yeah. yeah. Good, good tea. Good tea, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, until next time, always remember, if you take care of nature, nature will take care of you.